Entrepreneur is a word that even native English speakers stumble over. And with good reason. This word is long, has a strange combination of letters, and an unusual and unexpected pronunciation. And to make things more complicated, you may have even heard natives pronounce it differently. Want to know more? Stay tuned to learn how to say entrepreneur in English. The word entrepreneur entered the English language from French relatively recently, in the mid-1800s. So it still has more of a French spelling than an English spelling. The simplest definition of entrepreneur is a person who starts a business. With this meaning, you can imagine how useful this word is. People are always starting small businesses. So we're surrounded by entrepreneurs, an entrepreneurial spirit, and entrepreneurship. Are you or any of your family members an entrepreneur? If so, tell me about the business in the comments below. The word entrepreneur has four syllables and two common pronunciations in American English. In both variations, the pronunciation is the same for the first three syllables. The first syllable, en, is pronounced on, like the word on, as in my pen is on the table. The next two syllables are weak, so the second and third E's are pronounced as schwa's. Now the schwa is our neutral resting sound in English. It sounds like this. Uh. Uh. Notice how relaxed I am when I say it? All of the muscles of my mouth, my face, and my tongue are very loose and relaxed. Uh. Uh. If you'd like more information and practice using the schwa, please check out my videos, How to Stress English Words and How to Pronounce the Schwa in English. Now, most unstressed syllables in English reduce to a schwa sound. No matter what the spelling is, if it's an A, E, I, O, U, or a combination of those vowel letters, those can all reduce to that short, neutral, a uh sound, if the syllable is weak in a word. So in this case, we have two weak syllables, the second and the third. So the second syllable, spelled T-R-E, is pronounced tr, tr. And the third syllable, P-R-E, is pronounced pr. Now, how are you doing with those R blends? If T-R is hard for you, you could try pronouncing it as a C-H sound, like this, ch. That is very, very similar to the T-R combination, ch, tr, ch. So that's a little trick. It's not exact, but it's very, very close. Now try it with me. Tr, tr. Let's stop here and pronounce a similar word. Entree. This word was also borrowed from French. It refers to the main dish you eat at dinner. For example, if you're in a restaurant and you have a menu, you'll have a list of different categories of foods. You'll have appetizers, which are the things you eat before the main meal. You'll have your main course or your entree, and then often you'll have the desserts afterwards. So, entree. Notice that en in this word is also pronounced on, and it also has a tr sound after it, entree. Now, the E sound is quite different in this word, however. It is actually stressed. Entree. Now, let's keep going on entrepreneur. Entrepr. The E in the pr syllable is also pronounced with the schwa sound. It's a. Uh, pr. Smoothly move from the P to the R sound. Close your lips and feel the puff of air on the P sound. P. 
puh, puh. And then smoothly move to the R sound without pausing between the P and the R. To make the American R, your tongue floats in the middle of your mouth. Make sure the tip of your tongue does not touch the roof of your mouth, like this. R -r -r. My tongue is just floating right in the middle of my mouth. It is not touching anything. Now let's try that P-R-E again. Pr. Pr. Now remember how I told you there were two acceptable American English pronunciations for entrepreneur? Well, the difference is in the ending. Many people say entrepreneur. Just pronouncing the last syllable, the N-E-R, simply ner. Entrepreneur. To pronounce the er sound, pull your tongue back just as you did with the R sound. Don't let it touch the roof of your mouth at all. Then round your lips and actually stick out your lips. Take a look as I do it. Err, err. Notice the tension that you see in my lips. Now take a look at it from the side as well. Err, err. Need more work on the er sound? Then check out my video, How to Pronounce Er in American English. Now other people, like me for example, pronounce the N-E-U-R ending, like in the word newer, N-E-W-E-R, entrepreneur. Choose whichever of these two pronunciations you find easier. Both are fine. Entrepreneur, or entrepreneur. Again, let's try those. The first one, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. And then, how I say it, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Here are a couple of sample sentences. I dream of becoming an entrepreneur and opening my own business. We entrepreneurs wear many hats. Now this, many hats, refers to that we have many different business functions as an entrepreneur. As a small business owner, usually we have to do all the functions of our business. We don't have the resources to hire people to do marketing, to do accounting, and to do administrative functions. We do it all, so we wear many hats. What words do you find difficult to pronounce? Let me know, and perhaps I'll make a video for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.